Jesus. Chicago. Fucking exile. He's tossing us a lifeline, Sam. Or a noose. Frank Bledsoe could have hung us out to dry. After my fucking show was a late night hit on his goddamn network for over 30 years. Was a hit. Was. I thought you were my friend. I'm your line producer. You want friends? Try Facebook. Come. Sorry. What's up? Oh, Meta Guilford, uh, Trey Miller. Hey. Head writer, huh? Seems so. What's up? Thought you'd want to maybe come down and engage rehearsal? Great. Cool. Thanks. Go. Thought you were going the young and edgy route. What is he, 40? Son of a guy I owe money to. Excellent. Mind if I cut to the chase? Sure. I'm a talent manager, and I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, cool. First off, I don't want anything from you. I'm more of a giver type than a taker type. But I'm also not one of those promise you anything types either. I'd never promise you something I couldn't deliver. So I want, what I want to say is, I want to help you, Keith. And if you let me help you, I can guarantee you significantly more sketches and thus airtime and subsequently more character parts on the show. After that, I'd help you turn those character parts into feature films that would, taking into account how those films go, and I'm thinking they could go well, I'd guarantee you a minimum of three sequels. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Becky, Keith was on fire. I mean, you know, they'll have to put him in more stuff after that, don't you think? Uh-huh. What? what? Honey, can you mute that, honey? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, you know he's obviously the breakout star. I mean, with the black guy that says, yeah? Ugh, no. No, no way. No, I don't think so. Anyhow, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for calling back. All right, bye. What, the fucking black guy that says, yeah? What, are you fucking serious? <laughs> you know, you could be nicer about your brother. I mean, you didn't even laugh once. What, do you think he could tell? That's not the point. Why do you I mean, love him more than me? Why do I, what? Keith moved out when he was 16. Didn't even go to fucking college. I've got a fucking 4.0 GPA and future plans that don't involve getting drunk and puking in the recycling box. Getting busted for possession with my dipshit friend Jay and I've read Dickens and I ride a bike for fun and I exercise and eat vegetables and shovel the snow and I barely do anything but be home with you so why the fuck do you love him more than me? I don't. Love Keith more than you. But he's funny. I mean, you gotta admit that. You know, I mean, Keith is good at that. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, God, honey. Oh. Hello? Donna, yeah, great. Oh, yeah, he was fucking great. Fuck! Hey, hi. Hi. Do I know you? No. But look, I'm wondering, were you just up there, you know, with Sam Jepson? With? Right. Who? Sam Jepson. Sam Jepson. <laughs> I'm sorry, hon, I don't know who that is. Maybe if I gave you $50, might that jog your memory? <laughs> $50. That's not a jog, that's more of a slow crawl. Who told you that? Sam? Yeah. Of course he did. Turn this way. Look. Where? Just... Those... are network execs. Sam never talks to network execs. And he never goes to the after party. That's you. 
You did that. I did? You did. Welcome to Upside Down Land. Um, thanks. Who told you that, Sam? Yeah. Of course you did. Look over there. Where? Just, those are network execs. Sam never talks to network execs, and he never comes to the after party. That's you. You did that. I did? You did. Welcome to Upside Down Land. Um, thanks. Hey, Keith, get your fat ass out of here. Hey, Trey, give him a sec. I wasn't talking to you, corncob. What's up? I just wanted to give you a hearty good luck for tonight. The whole setup's a bitch, they're making us compete against each other for just a few slots. But here's hoping we both make the jump to light speed. Cool, me too, thanks. And if things get rough out there, just follow my lead. Or follow mine, either way. Fuck you later, Wastoid. Maybe she's one of those... <clears throat> what, uh, chubby chasers. I don't fucking care. Or maybe she's severely whack. Don't care, don't care, don't care. She's pretty. Or lonely, <laughs> or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, coat room sex. Classic. Keith loved Jay. Get off. Keith loved Jay this much. <laughs> You're my posse, bro. You're one man posse? One man, one posse. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe she's one of those chubby chasers. I don't fucking care. Or maybe she's severely whacked. Don't care, don't care, don't care. She's pretty and lonely or something. <laughs> anyway. Courtroom sex. Classic. Keith love Jay. Hmm. Get off. Keith love Jay this much. <laughs> You're my posse, bro. You're one man posse. One man, one posse. <laughs> maybe she's one of those whatever chubby chasers oh, i don't care or maybe she's just severely whack I don't care don't care don't care she's purdy and lonely or something anyway coat room sex classic keith love jay get off Keith Love J this much. You're my posse. You're one man posse. One man, one posse. Oh. Jay, did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I wish I could be. Dude, get out of the street. Cause I can fly higher than an eagle. Come on, man, you're gonna get hit by a car. Cause you, Jay Solomon, the same one who swallowed a tadpole whole from that swamp. The same one who drank the white wine vinaigrette. The same one who took my mom's transport and hit eight porter potties causing a domino effect. You are the one beneath my wings. <sighs> Bat Midler would be pissed I just fucked up her lyrics. <laughs>